So, what is she having a DNC? What is a DNC? She most likely has a. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she either had a baby bleeding, and the placenta's right? yeah. still in there, she's bleeding, or it's missing. Yeah. yeah. So, it might be because of miscarriage, right? Right. Also because of you bleeding, right? Right. You might have cancer, you might have a tumor, fibroid, or polyps. And a piece of placenta is left behind. Mm. So she's bleeding heavily. That's why we placed the, uh, the laminaria. So what is laminaria again? Seaweed. Seaweed. Tampon. Yeah. Seaweed tampon. So she came. She, she, she came from the uh, from the ER. Mm -hmm. when, when she went in the ER, they they play, the OB/GYN resident placed the laminaria to absorb the blood and start the bleeding momentarily, not temporarily, not permanent. That's why she's in the ER right now. She's also diabetes. Because she's immune compromised. She's a drug addict also. One of four things. She's six to seven weeks pregnant. And she's had 20,000. She had the ultrasound years. right here. <laughs> According to the ultrasound. Seven years old or something. And she's 15. Yeah, yeah. so the okay. anesthesiologist okay. is putting an IV, placing an IV. So she's getting Percet, fentanyl, and she's getting propofol. So we're gonna do a diagnostic because of the fibroids, the history of fibroids. This is her second miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lupus. Um, for irrigation, I'm gonna use glycine, which is an osmotic solution because we need to irrigate while I'm using the receptoscope. So to keep the cavity moisture, I'm gonna use glycine. I'm not using saline. For water, I'm using glycine. This is a smotic solution. Why? Because of the spacing I'm gonna remove. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is osmosis? From one cell membrane to the other one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What other medication I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use one percent lidocaine, plain, with no, twenty units of P-tracing. What is P-tracing? Or vasopressin? P-tracing is a vasoconstrictor. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna use nine cc's of 1% lidocaine plane yeah. and one cc of of pitrezin, 20 units per cc. She's also getting pitocin, mm -hmm. yeah, to uh, reduce the contractions. She's also getting magnesium sulfate to prevent to prevent uh, uh, seizures and high blood pressure because of her condition. And what else I'm gonna use? Uh, Wait, what's the in case I'm running into a bleeding, I'm gonna use silver nitrate. So what is silver nitrate? Yeah, so what is silver nitrate? It's uh, a it. Hemostasis. Yeah. yeah. Silver nitrate is made of 75% silver nitrate and 25% potassium nitrate. They look like matches. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They look like matches. Yeah. I'm gonna use it topical. And um, also I'm gonna use a sponge and a stick as a tamponade to prevent the, uh, the blood flow, to prevent bleeding. Worst scenario, if she's keep bleeding, I'm gonna use a uh, 3O, chromic, and an SH, taper. Mm -hmm. if, if, we, if we can control the bleeding. And then I might use a vaginal packing with sulfa cream, which is antibiotic cream, to prevent infection later on. Okay, let's do it then. No, I'm gonna use the chair. You're not gonna use it? Okay. okay. I'm gonna use the receptoscope with a 70 degree, uh, five millimeter receptoscope. Yeah. I'm gonna use a loop to cut the, uh, catalyze the uh, polyps. I'm gonna use the same uh, two rates to remove the, uh, the uh, POC. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna have two specimens. I know. The first specimen is gonna be POC, product of conception. The second specimen is going to be fibroid tissue, uterine fibroid tissue. Okay, James. You have my gum? Can I have a gum, please? <laughs> <laughs> Any gum? And six and a half, please. Hey, me and Jimmy are the same size. Make sure you have the gown, blood So the patient is already prepped. I'm going to remove the laminaria. Uh, according to the chart, they 
they place six laminarias. So I need to remove six laminarias. If I leave the laminarias inside this patient, it might have an effect. Endometriosis. James, how come you don't have my gun? No. <laughs> I get it. So how do we prep for a lithotomy case? What goes first? No lithotomy case on this one. I would drape it. Yeah. No, we need to place a drape underneath, underneath her buttocks. The buttocks. Oh. And it's then called drop. under buttocks. Yeah. And then we need to place towels around the legs. Towels, and then you cover the up. In the diamond sheet. And then need to the drape. <laughs> so you or have I can use the drape with the leggings attached. And then this is so I have two drapes. I'm going to use both. So I'm going to start with the under buttock, which is this one. It has a pouch, right? So I can connect the, uh, the suction tubing on the pouch. So left hand, right hand. And Miss Brown is half awake. So I'm gonna ask her to lift her her buttocks. Miss Brown, I'm gonna put the other buttocks. Right, so lift it up, please. There you go, thank you. I'm gonna use three towels. See how the cuff protects the sterile yeah. glove? There you go. Yeah. And this is the catch chamber that goes directly into the Either section tubing or <laughs> just <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Had you so done 14 she, years old. She got contraction. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> she got contraction on her legs. That's why she can't spread <laughs> her legs so much. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> no parent can stand because she's That is pain. about the truest thing. She's got contracture. <laughs> so normally her she would be more froggy style. <laughs> and, you know, they have those boots that the adjust. Let me get a shot of that. So watch out, oh. Jimmy's. Putting that drape on. So because she's 14. You have 14, to angle it with the. It says feet. So left hand and left. There you go. If you're gonna do it by yourself, you're gonna go like this. Even though my axilla is not sterile, that's the way they do it. Thank you. Is this considered a sterile 100% case now? Is it a dirty case? Yeah, it's probably a clean contaminated case. Because I'm gonna go inside the vagina. Is the vagina sterile? No. No, it's not. It's just dirty. Mm -hmm. Sure, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Light cover? Can I have the light cover? Can I have the light cover? Raymond. 
The lidocaine with the with pitracin, right? One percent lidocaine plain with two units of pitracin. She's half asleep. My fingers hurt when you do that. Even though she have a bursted and um, and and bursted and fentanyl and propofol, I'm gonna use some local anesthesia for hemostasis, pain and hemostasis. Okay, Miss Fran, here we go. It's a little mosquito bite. What's this thing down there? I don't know if it's all there. No, it's a mosquito bite down there. Not where you're poking. Oh, man. You'd get it. Okay. Right? Hyperbite. Let me have the... Uh, 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 uh. You can do that. <laughs> okay, I use this. I'm going to remove the laminaria. I don't have a good view. I wish I was taller. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I need a nerve. I need a nerve. Five. 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 Okay, let me have the, uh, yeah, the KY gel. Yeah, KY gel. Let me start with the small one. Wait, Miss A, so she's half asleep? We have the next size up. I won't remember anything that's going on, but she's conscious enough to be aware of commands. So if the doctor says, Ms. Brown, you're doing fine. You're saying here. I'm just violating you. It's a good service. Bring it there. How do you know when it's time for the next one? It's for amnesia. Next one. Punk. No, millimeters. James. No, Small for me. You know you know, because you, you see the size of the receptoscope? It's at least 10 or 12, right? So I need to dilate it to that size. Yeah. So I won't be able to, to get in. To go to a next higher. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. That's a dilator. They also use the ultrasound. No, that's it. That's okay. Yeah. They also use the ultrasound. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's start with the uh, the uh, same curette. Since you didn't create yeah, a small one. This one. I already small forgot one. what that is. Yeah. We have the. Uh, oh, there you go. And if this one. So I'm gonna go all around. PRC. <laughs> no, this is a correct. So I'm going to use the ultrasound prop right here. I'm going to look at the monitor. 
if I get everything. Yeah. We have the uh, same sub. When I was when I was all about. But we still have from okay, the other. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the uh, let's go with the receptoscope. No, just to slide it under. Oh, no. Can't see. So I have the loop. You see the loop? Yeah. I'm going to hook it to the cartery core, right? The cartery core goes to the uh, Bowie machine. I'm going to have a pedal to activate the uh, electrode. Camera here, slicer. Okay. You're conscious when you do this. You guys will learn more about this. Yeah, because the virus is You can say it's Armstrong. It is cool. Yo, Mario, it's all up. Can you uh, get a shot here above? Okay. We have an ultrasound machine in the room, and we have a. Could you get a shot from below? Say please. Was that a baby? Yeah. Could you please put sugar on top? <laughs> That's the wrong thing. I'm not doing it. <laughs> there is a baby in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this. Oh, let me have the solution. You the end. Want me to open it? No. Not Open, open it because uh, I have it. I have have the control over here. So one goes in, one goes out, right? And I said, oh, it's closed. Let me have the Regular suction, remove the junker. Remove the junker. Okay. One goes in, one goes out. Okay, there we go. Uh, it seems like a small yeah, fiber right there. Danny. Can yeah, you see the fiber right? At 12 o'clock, no, there, there's one also at uh, 3 o'clock, and there's one at 6 o'clock okay. also. Yes. Here we go. Where's the pedal? Okay, let's put it at 60. I'm saying you could say it at the same time. Bobby at 60. Quad. Here we go. Here we go. I'm using the, uh, the loop. I'm going to go mm -hmm. to the this other side. This is cool. It's like a snare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, there's a piece Where's the piece of tailcloth? Specimen number two, fibroid tissue. There you go. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna look again. I can't stop. I can't again. Okay, no more fibroids. We're good. Okay, Mr. Brown, we're almost done, okay? Hang in there. Mr. Brown? <laughs> <laughs> oh, long procedure altogether. Excuse me? <laughs> Mr. Brown is trying to get his tonsils out. <laughs> I'm doing him a right now. I'm using the sponges to be fat. One more, please. That's why we don't put the knife on eight. Okay, let me have the silver knife here, please. Silver knife. Circulator. It's in the black one. Where'd it go? It's in the black thing. Where'd it go? Mrs. Brown is okay. <laughs> you didn't check the line. Yeah. Oh, I said put them up. Shimmy. So is this all LeBron's these things? Yeah. One of them in my throat. Yo, Dom. I bet this is how LeBron James sees things. No one cares how LeBron James sees things. I'm a LeBron fan. I'm sorry. That explains so much. Right? I'm so sorry. Like your son. We're going to bring her up. We're going to send it to the phone. No. No. That's not true. Jimmy deserves an Oscar. That's a good point. Right? That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm playing you the whole procedure. The 80s. What to spend. <laughs> oh, so how I got, uh, my, go, my golden say hi. I want you to come back in two weeks and see. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I got 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if I told you what team it was. Golden State Warriors. Sure. And they're just going to give you all the indications. Okay, we're done. We're done. Yay! Okay, count. Count. We're doing well. Okay. Circle it. Circle it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Laps, five laps. Five now, five feet. Bobby feet now. Hypodermis. One, two. No blades, no shoes. Okay, we're done. Can you count the match? It's done.